you start out, you have your Photoshop file. This is the scanned image. You have the graphics on top of it. And uh, as you take a look at this initial layer, you can take the graphics that you have. This is a separate piece that shows the side view and the end view. So just kind of drag this down a little bit so it doesn't interfere with the top section that you have up here. And you can take the artwork, when you take a look at the folder that you have, the top of the box, for example, you can select the logo, the graphics for the two bars, the facial tissue, and the lettering, and just shift key them. You can see they're selected. And just option, duplicate it, and place it right down onto the side, because that's all that's actually on the side of the panel here. So it makes it pretty easy to work with. So they'll show up at the top as a copied image. So you have all these pieces together. You can cascade the file window on there and just move these down beneath it. Kind of organize your stacking order of all your items. So it makes it pretty easy to work with. And cascading this one, you can kind of see also the, the width of the box has the graphic below that. And that one we can do at the end. Here it is. Here's the layer. Get a new layer above this, kind of drag it down beneath it. And this is going to be the actual shape of the box. Take the rectangle tool. It already has the guidelines that you need for it. Put one on the left hand side, pull it right out of the ruler. Go ahead and drag this shape, this rectangular marquee selection. Just filling it so you can see it's Option delete to fill it. Here I'm just going to take the eyedrop tool to get the same color of that box and fill it with inside there. So it's using the second characteristic. Take the brush tool and up at the top with the options you can set the parameters, just kind of changing the opacity of this brush. So you can kind of see the overall color to this, give it a lighter gray. Because you're just trying to shade. A little bit of tone on the bottom and the side, right side of it. Click over into the layer panel, double click to get the layer styles and choose bevel and emboss. <clears throat> and that gives you a nice selection, kind of makes it look like it's a three-dimensional section of cardboard. And here's all the options that you can choose from for the height. You can either use the scroll bar or take the arrow key to make it move up or down and now you have that entire area selected. So that's just using the brush to do some of the shading with. Combination to it. Just cascade the window. There's the length of the box. Now go down to the end. Here you can kind of see the folded section of the cardboard there. On top of it. Just hide these layers so you can see from making it from scratch, there's the length, the width, and uh, that's what it looks like when it's finished. Cascade this part out. It's the top panel, kind of the bottom part folded, and the overall width. So there's just three layers with three different shapes on it, all having a similar layer style attached. So just get a new layer, use the marquee selection again. Give a ruler guide at the base for the bottom, and it'll snap right to it. There's the shape. Use the eyedrop tool to click up in the top here. You can select that coloring, swap the colors a little bit. Just choose a gray color right from the top there. And just use Command Shift to fill it in. A little paintbrush right on the side there. That's the layer. Double-click on it, just give it some bevel and emboss, places it right there. And you have the paths highlighted right like that. Just take the pen tool, make sure it's highlighted the path, and go ahead and draw these shapes out. Clicking it, holding the shift key down. Once you have it, you can 
correct selection tool if you need to modify any of the points. Just click on one to the other. Use the arrow keys or the pen tool, the selection tool, and give it a title. Create the other one right on the same path layer. And have everything set up. Direct selection tool. Path selection tool will select everything. Create a new layer right above this one. Makes it pretty easy. Layer new by copy. Fills that in there. Same with the second one. Click the selection. That's the layer. Put that one on there. So now you have all three sides ready to go so you can manipulate the values and the shading all together. Turn off the tab. Top one you can do the same. 